Squad Squad, it's Nicole Scott. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So um, yeah, we have a, an exciting, exciting thing. I didn't know it would happen so soon. They were literally born the beginning or the end of December. Like they were my, my like Christmas quailians. And these quailians, guess what? I mean, you already know by the title of this video, if I do title it that. The quailians laid an egg! Yeah, we have our first quail egg. And to answer your questions, no, I'm not hatching any more quails. And I'm not gonna keep any of these eggs. We're going to refrigerate them and give them to the dogs. So, I'm gonna be, whoa. I'm gonna be quiet because they're kind of sleeping. But there, there is the little quail egg. Can you believe that? Oh my God. How little it is, just like yeah. we, dude. That's what we incubated. Oh, that is so little. Oh my god, there's gotta be more in here somewhere. You think so? Well, how many hens we got in there? Two or three. Wait, that's an egg right there on the grass. No, it's poop. Oh, look at that. That perfect little egg. Aww, we made it. Which one? He's pissed. He's like, give it back. Yeah, he's like, that's Maybe my egg. Sound. It could have been though. Nah, that's a, oh, that's, that's a male. That's a male. Oh, man. Uh, the you first little baby egg. Tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next morning. Morning. Jay and I just went to the gym and I feel good. So since I'm worried about my knee not straightening and stuff, um, I'm doing physical therapy on my own um, every morning. So we're going to the gym every morning. I go on the bike for like 10 minutes, 60 minutes in total of like me. So there's this like stretch where you, let me tell you, let me show you. You sit on the ground and you put a Franklin dog on your lap and he gives you kisses and somehow that'll make your legs straight. Yay! Yay! Franklin heals everything. Oh, and then Willie's gonna come in and give kisses too. Willie, Willie helps to make your leg extra straight. So if you guys don't know, I did have surgery on my knee. I think today is exactly one month ago. So one month ago I had surgery and I think it's pretty impressive. You recover pretty quick from it. You know, you have like, you're sore and there's pain and stuff, but physically walking around after like two, three weeks, that's pretty impressive. I'm having difficulty straightening my leg all the way. Um, I talked about this in my last vlog, but right now, if you see, that's as straight as I can get my leg, and that's actually straighter than even the last vlog showed. So that is an improvement. If you see this leg, I can get it all the way down. So to get my range of motion back, this is what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to have like a towel or something under your foot. So you just think of like me holding this invisible towel. It's gonna pull your foot a little bit up. Excuse me, Willie. And then you have to put like 10 pounds on your leg. And so that's gonna push your leg down. So you're holding this and, and I normally just like put pressure right here. And this actually, this hurts. The inside of this, it freaking hurts. That's why I like, I hate doing it. I don't like doing things that hurt. So that's probably the reason why my leg's not straight right now. Anyways, I'm supposed to do this for a total of 60 minutes a day. And that's gonna be 10 minute intervals from, you know, throughout the day. So probably, I'll probably do like 30 minutes tonight when I'm playing video games because Fortnite, Fortnite's new game, it's free on PS4 and it's freaking fun, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking about going on Twitch for fun again. If you guys don't know, I used to go on Twitch. Before I was like a YouTuber, I would um, Twitch on Twitch and I loved it. And now that I do YouTube, I don't have enough time to Twitch, but I used to Twitch for like hours. And I was a partnered broadcaster on Twitch. Pretty weird, right? Pretty weird. But yeah, I enjoy video games. They're so much fun. They kind of, they take you out of reality and they just help you like relax when you're stressed out. You know, you're focused on one thing. You're not focused on like everything that's going on throughout your whole life. So video games are fun, okay? I like them. Anyways, things are going a little crazy in my planted aquarium, my uh, 10 gallon betta fish aquarium that is planted. Um, so here's my aquarium. I don't know, can you guys see that stuff floating? That's like all uh, like algae. So I'm having like an algae outbreak. There's berry. Look at the tank. We have like hairs everywhere and then we have some of this algae and like plant matter and stuff. So I'm going to use the help of reinforcements. I am going to call all of my shrimps. Shrimps, where you at? Yeah, I'm gonna add some shrimp in there. Um, 
Amaro shrimp. I think that's how you pronounce it. Amaro, Amaro shrimp. Um, I'm gonna see if they have those at the pet store. If they don't have those, I'm gonna get ghost shrimp. And then I'm gonna see if they have trumpet snails because apparently trumpet snails are really good for uh, breaking down uh, matter in your planet aquariums. So I'm gonna try to find some trumpet snails. I will not get a mystery snail because those usually don't eat algae anyways. So yeah, I'm just looking for algae eaters that aren't fish because if I get a fish in there, my beta might attack it. So, oh, also it's a 50-50% chance um, my beta will accept the shrimp in the aquarium. So hopefully Barry likes the shrimp because he needs maids in his mansion, his fish mansion, he needs some maids because his fish mansion, Barry is not a good cleaner. He's not doing his laundry. He's not doing the dishes. His tank is getting a little crazy in there. So Barry needs some help cleaning. Like me, I actually need help too cleaning. So, you know, if you're a housekeeper, hit me up. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. If Barry flares up at the shrimp, have no fear. I have a little two gallon aquarium that's right behind those cereal boxes that is actually vacant and I'm not planning on getting another fish for that so if anything goes wrong I can just put some shrimp and make it like a shrimp hideout a honeycomb hideout for shrimp all right Scott squad so it's later we went to the horse so I realized I didn't have an SD card and now we are at Petco we are going to pick up the shrimpies does a shrimp does a shrimp count as a new pet can I title this, I got a new pet, and it's like a little shrimp? If I if I end up titling it that, it's a pet, all right? Can't get mad, it's a little shrimp pet, all right? It's a, it's a little plankton. You guys, these fish are so big. I want a koi pond so bad. Look at how cool that looks. I love koi. It's like honey cat if she was more hard. Looks so cool, that's such a big fish. Oh my gosh. I don't see any. Alright, we're looking for the snails and we're looking for the shrimp. Oh wow. R.I.P. little man. And this guy. This guy somehow ended up on the wrong side of the tank. He's like, hey man, let me back in. Man, I don't want to be in here. Okay, so they have the shrimp that I'm looking for. They have ghost shrimp and a mano shrimp, which is considered Japanese algae eater shrimp and I was looking it up online they both kind of do the same thing a mono shrimp are kind of more hardy than the ghost shrimp though okay so here are our shrimps that's them the little shrimps I'm hoping this goes well if not we have a net and I will intervene emergency emergency we have an emergency guys there's a hole in the bag oh my god there's a hole in my little shrimp bag and it's leaking water on me. Okay guys, so here's the hole. Do you see that? See all those waters dripping out? Oh my gosh. What a poorly made bag. We just got home and this is what happens when my dogs get let out of their crates. Okay, so before I add the shrimp, I'm just going to do a quick water change and um, took little Barry out, he's chilling. And yeah, I'm also going to clean up the aquarium a little bit. So I just got done testing the water and the water is perfect. So while I'm testing the water, my mom texts me that my birthday present arrived and she made me cookies. These are one of my favorite cookies ever. They are so good. Uh-uh. You can't have any. They're mine. Anyways, I can't wait for my parents to live closer to us because it sucks not having your mom live. Like, my parents are all in California now, so now that I'm in Florida, I'm super far away, and I miss them. But these are really good. Thanks, Mom. Okay, so now it's time for me to add my shrimps. So far the beta hasn't seemed to notice. Um, also, for some reason my filter is acting super loud right now. I think I'm gonna switch the filter anyways. Okay, so I'm going to add my shrimp and if the beta does act aggressive 
to the shrimp, I will be taking them out and putting them in the aquarium over here. But I'm hoping that they don't. So I really, I don't think that he's gonna care too much. But if he does, I will remove them from the situation. All right, let's add the shrimp bullions. So I'm pretty sure we came up with a name. This is Beyonce and Jay-Z, our shrimp's name. I do not want these shrimps going down the drain. All right, both shrimps are in there. Jay-Z and Beyonce made it. Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh my God. Is there looking? Right there, right there, there he is. Straight to the bottom of the tank. Is he gone? Right there. Oh, he, he's attached to the leaf. Ooh, they're gonna have some fun cleaning and eating mm. that tank. <coughs> okay, here's Barry. Let me get the thing out. What do you mean? Well, we wanna get ready for it just in case. He hasn't even noticed yet. There's a shrimp olean right there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. What's going on? Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, Barry's right next to the shrimp. 